This is NAIG2 Commercial in Columbus, Georgia. Jack Hayes is here to discuss our market. Hey Jack, how's the office market? How's the warehouse market? Any news on retail? How about hospitality? The investment market? Well, do you have a forecast for the next six months? Well, thanks for that update, Jack. Hi, I'm David Simon from NAI DeLeo Bram, based in central New Jersey. 2020 has been a challenging year to say the least. We are very fortunate. During the first half of the year, we hired three extremely talented professionals and are so pleased to have them on our team. Certain sectors have been impacted more than others. Because of New Jersey's excellent location and access to the ports, the industrial market continues to be extremely active and we don't foresee any changes for the balance of the year. We hope that you have a wonderful time at the conference and we look forward to eventually being able to see you in person at the appropriate time. Have a great conference and be safe. Hey, this is Jimmy Barnes from Tri Properties and NAI Carolinic Realty in Raleigh, North Carolina. We've got about a 60 million square foot office market. We've seen a slight uptick in vacancy, but really less than a point. We're still seeing some good activity. We are, however, starting to see some sublease space uh, sneak back into the market. Uh, but we're still uh, excited about the activity we're getting here. We're seeing some companies that are looking to relocate here to the Triangle. And density within your office space is no longer a buzzword. Greetings from NAI Nashville Stanton Group in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm Devin McClendon. Here in Nashville, we're continuing to see an incredibly strong industrial market with rates for smaller tenants surpassing the $8 per square foot mark. In our office sector, we've seen stability, although we do suspect some softening in the coming months as we will absorb more than 2 million square feet of office space in our downtown core. Our retail market has performed reasonably well during the pandemic However, our hospitality sector, like many, has struggled, with occupancy rates in the tourist district hovering around 30% over the last several weeks. We continue to see strength in our multifamily market, with two record-breaking sales occurring this summer. We look forward to seeing everyone soon, and if you have a reason to visit Nashville, give us a ring. Hi, my name's Robbie Perkins. I'm market president of NAI Piedmont Triad in Greensboro, Winston-Salem, High Point, and Burlington, North Carolina. Our market's been vibrant. Uh, industrial uh, business has been brisk. Uh, we've seen a number of uh, corporate relocations into the area, uh, particularly manufacturing businesses that uh, know that we're going to come out of this pandemic and they need to be in business when we do. Uh, uh, we're seeing uh, industrial facilities pop up along the interstate corridors in all of our markets, uh, and they're all being leased uh, uh, certainly within three or four months of completion. Uh, the other area that's really hot for us is residential land development. Uh, we've got a lot shortage in the area, and we know that uh, uh, more population is going to be moving into North Carolina as a result of the pandemic, and so do the home builders. So they're looking for entitled sites and developers that will put the infrastructure in place and sell them lots literally by the thousands in this market. Hello, I'm Peyton Bryant with NAI Columbia in Columbia, South Carolina. As a capital market and a business friendly state, the COVID pandemic has not had as drastic of an impact on us as it has on other markets. Our retail areas are generally spread out, which normally poses a number of challenges but that has actually helped reduce the impact of closures on those areas. The office market, largely supported by the influence of government and a large university, has not seen a material decrease in occupancy or rental rates. As in most places, industrial is growing, and our state's incentives help drive that growth. Lastly, and most importantly, a survey of members of the Site Selectors Guild, specifically named Columbia, South Carolina, as one of 11 mid-sized cities to be the next winners for corporate relocation projects. Hello from the ATL. Atlanta continues to offer strategic location, a great climate, low cost of living, and a pro-business state. 
The current growth in e-commerce has driven leasing and development by companies including Amazon, Walmart, Facebook, and Microsoft. So far in 2020, more than 9 million square feet of warehouse distribution space has been delivered, and another 3 million square feet of offices come online. Tell your clients Atlanta means business, and I can't wait for 2021. John Good with NAI Earl Furman in the upstate of South Carolina. And for us, uh, COVID-19 has been an acceleration of all the trends that were happening before COVID. So uh, the demise of retail, fortunately, that's our smallest division, and the acceleration of uh, e-commerce and reshoring uh, in the Southeast. We're still manufacturing a lot of things and we are seeing a lot of opportunities in that area as well as the continued population shift to our area. Our residential developers are extremely busy. We sell many parcels to those developers for horizontal lot development, uh, along with our recreational land and timber group that is selling lots and lots of farms to people who are looking for places to go and socially distance themselves from everyone else. Uh, the other uh, big drivers, all the disruption, the supply chain, a lot of our clients are seeing an increase in their inventory levels uh, of raw materials and finished goods, uh, which is driving uh, new development in the industrial market. Uh, we are hiring more brokers, uh, and we see this as an opportunity to go and add uh, brokers from other firms that have not fared as well as we have. Hope everyone's doing great, and wish we could see everybody this year. This is Stuart Duffin, NAI South Coast. We've obviously dealt with uh, a messy COVID-19 situation, but we also had some good office leases and some big sales. We've seen uh, an influx in the medical uh, money coming into our area. Uh, I think that's probably because of cap rate compressions and also supply, a lack of supply in other markets. Um, as well as Cleveland Clinic purchasing three hospitals in our local market here. We've also seen a big increase in calls from the Northeast and South Florida. People wanted to sell up their houses and businesses and move both here. That bodes really well for our local market here for the next several months. Miami is one of the most popular municipalities in the state of Florida with 2.7 million residents. It's home to 13 universities. It offers unparalleled access domestically as well as globally. It is home to multiple international and national headquarters, such as the Ryder Corporation, Brightstar, Burger King, just to name a few. Currently, the commercial real estate market has weathered the 2020 storm with resilience. The retail market has 134 million square feet. Uh, currently constructed with a vacancy rate of about 4%, with 2.1 million currently under construction. Office has about 110 million square feet, uh, with a current vacancy of about 9.6% vacancy, with about 3.8 million currently under construction. Industrial makes the largest part of our sector, uh, with 250 million square feet, with about 5.6% vacancy, with 3.8 million currently under construction. Multifamily, there's 163,000 units with a vacancy of 7.9% with 16,000 units currently under construction. Based on our experience, commercial real estate in Miami has weathered the storm of 2020 and is poised to continue well into 2021. Hello, I'm Carl Landreneau with NAI Light and Bloom in Louisiana. Right now we're waiting on our second hurricane to hit but I'm gonna give you a quick market update. We follow international trends. Hospitality is weak. Land, warehousing and distribution is strong. Local retail is doing well. Uh, and so we just, uh, our business is still holding its own. Thanks. Greetings, this is Tony Bonatati with NAI Earl Furman based in Greenville, South Carolina with offices in both North and South Carolina. Let me tell you, friends, the Carolinas is growing. During COVID and post-COVID, we're adding manufacturers with reshoring. We're adding population growth with new apartments and developments and communities. We can help you transfer your clients' wealth to the Carolinas by sharing information about North and South Carolina. Give us a call at NAI Earl Furman.